Hello and welcome or welcome back to the Three Strands pod. Have you guys had a good week? Have you had a good day? Are you feeling good? Not feeling so good? What's going on? How's your mental? How's your emotional? How's your physical? How is your spiritual? What is what is looking like? What is it looking like? What do you guys think of social media? I don't really get it anymore. Like I used to really love social media and posting and like being in touch with everyone, but yeah, no, I hate it. I think it's the worst thing to ever happen to mankind because social media is so fake. Like on Instagram, people pretend that everything is glamorous and they're constantly being flewed out and they're always at the beach or they're always on some tropical island, but no one lives like that. Everything is always so nicely edited, these nice effects and this, that and the other, and like all these cool aesthetics, but nobody's life looks like that. And then on Twitter, everything is just self-deprecating. It's just memes. It's just people getting dragged and cancelled left, right and centre. It's just a massacre every day. It's just war. Twitter is literally just a war zone. And then there's these new ones, Clubhouse. I think it's like house party, as far as I know. People just go there and talk. I don't, I don't, I don't know what, I don't get it. And then there's TikTok. I saw we had TikTok like years ago and then it flopped and now they brought it back and like everyone's like, oh my gosh, I love TikTok. And people just dance. Is that what they do? I don't, <laughs> baby, I just don't get it. People just do. I don't get it. I don't have a clue <laughs> about this social media stuff anymore. I feel like I'm getting old. I'm still a young, I'm still a baby boy. I'm enjoying my life. (laughs) I just don't get social media. Personally, Pinterest. That's it. Pinterest. It has the beauty of social media without the annoyance of interacting with people. Fantastic. If you haven't jumped on Pinterest, jump on Pinterest. I feel like I'm plugging Pinterest. Like, sponsor me. But seriously, like, Pinterest is fantastic. Enjoy life without social media. Be social. Be in the moment, be with people, be interactive. Obviously, we have corona and lockdown, the pandemic and all of these things, which I get has increased people's usage of social media. But connect with people and think about what it is that you're sharing online and why. Be the best you that you could be. Not everybody needs to see everything. And don't don't seek validation from people online through the things that you're posting. Just live in the moment. Live your best, honest, right here, right now life. It is such a great way to connect with people, to meet people, to interact with people. But it is so very easy. It is so easy to get sucked in into that life of constantly posting and constantly updating people that you may know, you may not even know, people you may probably not even care about on what is happening in your life. And it is so crazy how social media has such an effect on our minds and our perception of ourselves, like self-worth and self-esteem and even self-identity. Absolutely crazy. So be careful when you're posting on social media. Enjoy it, but don't abuse it. Don't overuse it. Your mind, don't lose it. Gee, and I said I wasn't even a lyricist. All right, the time has come to make it do what it do. So without further ado... Oh, 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 and so without further ado, oh, 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 cue the intro. Something years of age and life surely ain't about handouts. So I lays my plan out. Hard work is living data to an art called survival. Consider jobs lesson from conception to arrival. Now that I'm here, my fear shall decrease. Learn about life, making my way to the east. From four square yard struggle up the G's on time. Your God hit me with that control. A woman named Tessica Brown uploaded a TikTok video explaining her hairstyle dilemma. How her hair has been in place for over a month. Now, for some, this may sound like the ideal hairstyle. This may sound like, oh my gosh, your hair was in place for a month. Absolutely fantastic. No flyaways, no messy hair. You don't need to do your hair in the morning. Fantastic. Oh, but baby girl... Oh, but baby girl, (laughs) 
Jessica Brown ran out of got to be spray which is a blasting freeze spray that holds your hairstyle in place if you don't already know it's that really long yellow bottle that people use to spray their hair sometimes use it to like glue down wigs hold up their hairstyles yeah that one and so as a substitute for her got to be glue spray she used the gorilla glue spray yes you heard right the gorilla glue spray if you are not familiar with what gorilla glue is it is a heavy duty spray adhesive which is typically used on wood or like metals and leather yeah that is what it's used for and she sprayed it on her hair okay and now some people will be thinking yeah but she's just super dumb why would she do that she should have known maybe she didn't know what the gorilla glue was used for but then again she had it in her house i don't know but in the black hair community we do have the hair product which is called moco de gorilla which is basically gorilla snot it is a hair gel and a lot of black women use this hair gel and it has a picture of a gorilla on it there's one that's yellow there's one that's orange and purple different colors so in her defense i'm assuming that she just thought that they do the same thing or it would be a fine substitute i don't know i just don't know and jessica brown said that she made the tiktok video which actually reached millions and millions of views she said that she made the video because she had had her hair like that for a month and she could not figure out how to get the gorilla glue out of her hair like i said it had been in place for a month which like i said sounds great but when your hair starts to itch oh baby girl you get to scratch okay <laughs> okay and think the gorilla glue that she used to hold down her hair is used on wood and metal and leather so she can't reach her scalp so obviously she went to tiktok looking for any kind of solution as to how she was going to remove this gorilla glue from her head and then in comes the star of the show dr michael k obeng who is a beverly hills plastic surgeon so he heard of tessica brown's issue and he actually offered to remove the glue for her pro bono which means free a goddamn charge you ain't gotta pay a penny y'all Dr. Obeng said that he actually took only two days to develop the concoction that he used to help um, Brown take the Gorilla Glue off her head, but not before he tested it on himself first. He actually contacted Gorilla Glue to see if they had something that he could use to dissolve it, and they said that someone from research and development would get back to him. But by the time that they contacted him, he had already figured it out. See that Ghanaian mind? Powerful. Dr. Obeng said that after he untangled her hair, he gave her a, quote, special oil brought from East Africa. The oil has a lot of antioxidants to help with the free radicals and calm down all the inflammation on the scalp. So fortunately for Brown, she didn't have to lose her hair because obviously Dr. Obeng was able to get rid of the, the Gorilla Glue and save her hair. But obviously it had to be cut because of the damage that was done due to the glue. Remember when I told you that Dr. Obeng said that he would do the surgery for her pro bono? He said that based on time, he would have charged between $12,500 and $15,000. But he said, if we can go to Africa and Central America and do free surgery, we can do it in our own backyard and help somebody in need, which I personally think is fantastic. This is what we all need. This is what we need in society. We need people that are just willing to help. Maybe free of charge, maybe at a reduced price. Just making your services or your products accessible to those in need. Dr. Obeng said he is actually working on something to see if he can get his solution onto the shelves to help people in what he calls sticky situations, which I thought was a bit punny. <laughs> get it? Punny? Because of the sticky? Because of the glue? No? Okay. Before she had her surgery, Tessica Brown actually created a GoFundMe page because she anticipated that after she managed to get the glue out, she would need to wear wigs due to the damage that like was caused to her hair follicles. And she has since committed to donating the majority of the donations made to Dr. Obeng's charity, which provides reconstructive surgery pro bono throughout Africa. And initially, she asked her GoFundMe for $1,500, but after like people started hearing about her story and seeing her video online, it skyrocketed, and she actually raised over $23,000. 
but her GoFundMe page is now under investigation. And she says that they won't even release the money to her because so many people have called and said that the account is fraudulent. But GoFundMe said that they are working towards sorting the issue out and seeing if they can release the money to her. There was a video that was circulating the internet just a little bit after Tessica Brown's Gorilla Glue Girl whole situation rose and ended. Um, a TikTok user by the name of Avani Rees actually claimed that she, quote, accidentally put Gorilla Glue in her hair. This is like a week after Brown surgery. And apparently somebody donated to her GoFundMe $3,000. And so obviously after seeing the whole Gorilla Glue Girl situation and people had their own reviews about that and now another person has come out to be like, oh my gosh, I've accidentally put Gorilla Glue in my hair, completely unrelated to the situation we had a week ago. People on TikTok are like, yeah, no, not convinced. This is all done for attention. Don't, we're not buying it. I'm not donating to your GoFundMe. But again, the user Avani Rees, who has the Gorilla Glue in her hair, has not confirmed or denied whether this was an accident or was done on purpose, but people on TikTok and on the internet are just not buying it regardless. People on Twitter were sharing their thoughts, as always, and one user shared the video of Avani Rees and said, at this point, I don't feel bad at all. And other users joined in tweeting things like, clout is one hell of a drug, Definitely did this on purpose to rack up them views and follows. Like I said before, clout is one hell of a drug. This new generation is doomed. Social media is making y'all some pure dumbasses, dog. I told you, people are not buying it. And I don't blame them. I mean, I don't get why people are putting glue in... I get that Tessica Brown accidentally put Gorilla Glue in her hair, not understanding its strengths, okay. But then after we've seen this whole debacle, we've seen this whole struggle to get it out, she said, I wash my hair 15 times. It don't move. <laughs> as funny as that is, it must have been a stressful situation. But people are willingly putting themselves into these situations in order to get attention from the internet, which I think is absolutely unnecessary. I personally don't get. But one Twitter user tweeted, I'll give it to Tessica. I'm convinced that she really didn't know about Gorilla Glue being that strong, but that's a one in eight billion case. Everyone else did it just for the sole fact that she did. I guess five minutes of fame is just that important to some people. More people on Twitter were talking about Tessica Brown. Apparently she now has talent management, which, well, damn. Another user tweeted, that chick that put Gorilla Glue in her hair? Her Instagram account now lists her as a, quote, public figure. She has a blue check mark. She has her, quote, talent agent's contact in her bio and a link to a GoFundMe with almost $20,000 in it. Another Twitter user said, so basically Gorilla Glue Girl ran with the biggest finesse of the year so far. She got over 20K in GoFundMe donations, a free surgery, and now she's selling merch. $50 hoodies? Man... 2020 and 2021 just having their way with us at this point. Hashtag, this is America. Another user tweeted, stop playing. That Gorilla Glue lady done drop merch, t-shirts, sweats, hoodies and all. Talking about bonded for life. Gotta love America, right? <laughs> yeah, you heard me. Tessica Brown, aka Gorilla Glue Girl, has merch. So if you guys were interested in her story or are interested now, you guys can definitely get some merch. They're around like $30 or something like that. She's got jumpers, t-shirts, whatever. Bonded for life. I mean, get it how you live it. Live it how you get it. (laughs) I personally will not be buying her merch. Maybe you guys are interested. I don't know. On Gorilla Glue Girl and Dr. Obeng, that is all for today. I hope you guys learned something new. Please do not mistake Gorilla Glue for any kind of hair care product or whatever. Please read the labelings. Please be careful. I wouldn't even recommend using Gorilla Snot. I personally don't think it's that great, but hey, be careful with the got to bees as well. Just love your natural hair. We can do this. If you're going to do your hair, a slick back bun or a wig or braid, just be careful. Okay, that's it. So until next time, Peace in the Middle East to you and your crew. What, what? Peace in the Middle East to you and your crew.
20 something years of age and life surely ain't about handouts so i lays my plan out hard work is living to an all cause survival consider jobs lesson from conception to arrival now that i'm here my fears shall decrease learn about life making my way to the east from four square yard struggle up the g's on time your god hit me with yeah. that so juicy.